Hi, this is Kristen O'Neill, and today I wanted to talk to you about a color wheel. So the important thing to know is that there are three primary colors, red, yellow, blue, and you probably already knew that, didn't you? But what a lot of artists don't understand is that red colors and blue colors and yellow colors are not usually a true red or a true blue. So when you go to mix them, you're going to get a bunch of different interactions than you might be expecting. And so it's good to know where on the color wheel the colors you're using actually fall. So I did an example with the colors I have handy, and you can see one red that I have is a little bit more orangey than the purple red. So this is cad red medium, and this is a lizard and crimson hue. Down here you can see there's lots of different blues and greens that are happening on, and so it's good to know you know that phthalo blue and phthalo green can be very different colors from each other. So, which can get really confusing because it's like phthalo green blue shade and phthalo blue green shade are very different from each other. <laughs> so uh, I would recommend that you take a minute, go through your paints and look at where do they actually fall on the color wheel if you've been having any trouble mixing color. Anytime you include all three primaries together, you are going to get a brown. And if you manage to mix perfectly across the color wheel, you can get a gray. And that's a really beautiful way to mix gray. And so um, when I'm teaching, I usually hide the black paint because it'll doll out all your colors. And you can get to very, very dark colors by doing for example, phthalo green yellow shade and alizarin crimson hue together. They're both very dark colors. And so when you mix them together, you get a, basically like a really beautiful black. And then you add white to it and it brings it through all the different possible gray shades that you can have. So that is how I mix my colors to get the full values. All of these colors plus white, you can do so much with. So I really encourage you to try that out. See where your colors are. Then you can know what's directly across the color wheel. Use that as your grays. So you could do a really beautiful brownish color gray, or you could do something that's a little bit more perfectly gray. If you can mix straight across, it's like the colors cancel each other out. That's how I think about it. Like the light waves come and just each other out. Um, but if you go to one side or the other, you're gonna get into the land of brown, which is great as long as you meant to be there. <laughs> so happy mixing.